the practice of relating is simple. You know, mm. Jacob and I talk about keeping the channel of the hearts clear and that being like one of the, the core parts of, of relationship as a practice. Um, yeah, the, the practice of relationship, the, the core mm. tenets are simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. It, mm. it takes courage and deep vulnerability and can be really fucking challenging sometimes. Yeah. When, when I hear the energy, I, I, need, <laughs> I need to cough at the same time. <laughs> it's contagious. My two sicklings just on a podcast, lighting it up for the audience. Thanks, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, some of your videos are this, are this the, the passion, the fire of like, you know, as a full spectrum woman, you need to speak your truth. Like, if you're in the dating and you, you don't, not settling and going after what you want and just saying, this is what I want and this is what I'm. I know that I deserve and speaking, speaking mm. that truth and having the courage to say it, even if you feel like you're going to vomit or pass out by speaking it. <laughs> Where's the, where, what, what does that look like in relationship mm. in keeping the balance between like safety and not projecting and being like a full fucking wild woman in a full spectrum expression? Mm. I love this question because I think the nuance here is like so important. Mm. And, so, you know, I talk so much about being a full spectrum woman, especially in relationship and, you know, bringing the full, yeah, the, our full expression to, to our partners or to our lovers. And sometimes women take that as like, oh, so that's a permission slip to just like, you know, fucking blame. And yeah, I call it throwing <laughs> grenades. And yeah. the idea of like, I'm going to keep the walls around my heart and I'm just going to throw projections and blame and like all of these things, mm. it's like throwing grenades. With that, like that is not being in our full expression. You know, anytime the walls are up around us, really we're trying, that's like we're trying to create, or we are creating separation. That's not a bid to create deeper intimacy. That's mm. a, you know, I want to win this which again is like one of the core pieces of being able to move through tension in relationship is dissolving this idea that there has to be like a winner and a loser and really like meeting in that place of like, Hey, can this moment, can we, can we here together decide that this moment gets to be a portal to deeper connection? Can we hear, even if we're like, you know, there's rage and there's pieces here and we're not too sure like how they're going to get through this, but can we decide here in this moment that, this is going to be a portal. We're going to mm. we're going to move through to the other side, feeling more deeply connected. Mm. That's one of like the most game changing practices in relationship. So what can that look but, like? Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to swing back? Do you want me to answer yeah. that question or swing yes, back? Please. Yeah, yes, please. the the first one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So I think in terms of like mm. what it means to be a fully expressed woman in relationship, or to be in our full spectrum. For me, I see it, it's not projecting. So it's not, you know, if we're feeling a rage or or like a hurt, if we're like disappointed, let's say like, I always use this example, say that like Jacob has said he's going to be home at six o'clock, but it's like eight, he gets home at eight o'clock and I'm feeling really disappointed or like dropped. Maybe I had like in my head planned the whole evening out of him being home or like I'd cooked dinner and I feel like hurt and disappointed and you know, he comes home and as he walks in the door, I'm just like, you said you'd be home at this time. And ah, oh, like, I can't trust you. And, or maybe it's, I give him the silent treatment and I'm like, not, you know, just like waiting for him to get that I'm angry. But if we're looking at that projection piece, like if I'm just like yelling at him and like, you did this and, you know, I can't trust you. That can be that like projection walls up mm. where being in our full spectrum is like not denying that there's like rage there or there's hurt there or there's disappointment there. But instead of trying to like throw that or take that feeling out of our body as women and like throw it at our partner, mm -hmm. it's like, can I actually like open and reveal that? Mm -hmm. Like instead of trying to get it out and give it to him, can I actually just let him witness me and my hurt? Mm -hmm. So what could that look like? Yeah. Love that question. So, you know, in this example, it might look like, yeah. like, and depending the flavor, it can look like a different flavor each time. But um, 
sometimes if there is rage in my body, I like to say to Jacob, like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling lots of rage. There's lots of rage in my body right now. Like, oh, and I might even like, you know, my face might kind of like scrunch up a bit or my hands might be like this, mm-hmm. you know, but I'm, oh, I'm feeling lots of rage in my body right now. Right. Like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I love that you said before that under every, like, one of my teachings is under every complaint is a desire. So mm-hmm. it's like, yes, we can be in that. It's like, oh, I'm feeling lots of rage. And then, oh, but then also, like, looking for the desire underneath that, mm-hmm. like, oh, oh, I just, I'm just realizing that I thought you were going to be home earlier. And, you know, I, I actually had envisioned tonight being a night of like feeling really deeply intimate or lying on the couch together and just chilling and cuddling and like, oh, I didn't get to experience that. Mm. Well, like, oh, I feel like when you when you said you were going to do one thing and you didn't, like, oh, I feel like I can't trust you now. Mm. You know, this like this sharing and being in it, but not necessarily, you know, throwing it at the person mm. or trying to project that rage, but really this more this more revealing and, and letting someone into our experience than trying to almost like push someone away with the projection of our experience. Mm, yeah thanks for explaining that nuance it's like it's a very subtle but powerful thing because i know uh i don't think we're definitely not taught what does it look like to feel our emotions and i feel like the only context we have usually modeled back to us is when the suppressed emotions from mum and dad actually come to the surface it's like a war or not in every household but oftentimes totally um, Mm. And I think it's, this is, and this is such a, this is such an art and like a practice. And when you said before, like, how do we not project? I think it's like, I think that's always, there's always going to be little bits of projection, not always, but especially when we're learning this art form of like relating with our hearts open and Mm. really like in this deep practice of devotion, if we're trying so deeply not to project, we kind of like go into the head, especially as women, when the art of, re- of revealing happens in the body. So mm-hmm. if we're trying to use our words and be like, I don't want to project and I, I need to use my words and I'm feeling this and da, 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 da. like we can be saying the right things, but our partner doesn't actually feel us. Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't actually feel the depth of like, the hurt or the disappointment or the texture of rage or mm-hmm. you know the grief or the sadness or whatever it is mm-hmm. and so something I really teach women is like can we let go of like trying to get the words perfect and can we actually just practice like letting our partner in in that moment you know mm-hmm. oh like what are, what are you feeling can you just you know let him feel that especially in like in the body this is what it really means to be an embodied woman like mm-hmm. letting him witness the embodiment of that. If you're saying I am upset, but like you're just sitting there rigidly, like, oh, can you take a few deep breaths and like let that upset or sadness like come alive in your body? Can you let him witness that mm-hmm. instead of trying to cage it up and use the words? Like it's we the the feminine is an energy to be felt. She mm-hmm. is she is a felt transmission. Mm-hmm. And this is how we are so deeply received by the masculine when we let ourselves be felt without yeah. trying to put that into a formula or put that into a cage so it makes sense. Yeah, and that does make sense to the masculine. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I've had, you know, there's been experiences where, you know, back in the days when I was, like, first, um, you know, playing around with these concepts and I was very much more of the mind and I would try and use my words to get things across to Jacob. And then I remember there was one situation where, you know, he was going through a real challenge in his, his life and I'd kind of like tried to to talk to him about it. But then there was just one night where I really just like broke down and I let him feel how much pain I was in by witnessing him continue to choose something that he was choosing. Mm-hmm. And that brought him alive like nothing like ever did. Like him seeing my hurt instead of me just saying I'm disappointed or like, you know, trying to use my words but actually revealing like ouch this hurts Mm -hmm. and like letting him witness me deeply in that and this is where as women or feminine beings our emotions are like such a superpower they don't yeah they they are in service to the relationship so deeply Mm 